Then through a scan to one and a half parsec. On screen. Weapons or advancements. It's more like a big ball of wibbly wobbly, tiny whiny stuff. Open a channel. All vipers, break, break, break! Impossible to see the future. This is the emergency holographic doctor speaking. You wish to hear energy talking. Helmsman laid a new course. From the wind. Watch how I saw. Now, it's gone completely. Engage. Hello and welcome to the Save Sci-Fi Podcast. I am your host, David, and joining me this week we have EJ. No, you don't. I'm not here. I I, I ran away. And he, he he will more than likely break Skype again. <laughs> <laughs> we have Amy. Hey oh. We have Stuart. Hello. And we have Eugene. Hello. Wow, that was incredibly loud. <laughs> That's my bad for yeah, I messed up the mixer a little bit there. Anyway, um, this, today on the podcast, we have Return of the Shows. Agent Carter, Flash, Arrow, all come back from their hiatus this week. And we also got Legends of Tomorrow and X-Files. Now, we're going to wait for Michael to join us for X-Files, so we'll leave that till later on. It might even be an after show. We don't know. He's out doing God knows what. Shoveling snow. Yeah, probably. We'll go with that. Uh, he's not hes not smashing people over the head with a shovel and hiding them under the snow, that's for sure. Really? Cause, wink, wink. He, he's totally not doing that, guys. <laughs> not at all. By the way, I'm from California. What's snow? <laughs> that is a we'll happy- question for me. We'll, we'll, we'll be we're from Queensland. We're, we're from Queensland. We're sort of like upside down California. <laughs> we'll be happy to give you some snow. Oh, you, you send you send us some snow, and we'll send you some warm. How does that sound? It's been like forty degrees here for the last week. Well, it, we're we're in the fifties Celsius, so that's about what eighty degrees. Yeah, ninety, ninety, something like that. I don't know. Yeah. So, so we we use the, the the modern world's temperatures system. Yeah, that's because you guys are weird. <laughs> Says the people that are one of the two countries in the world that still use miles. Wait, what's the other one? I Kilometers. Can't, I can't remember. England. No, England England uses uh, England. kilometers, I thought. England well, uses this... kilometers, but a lot of their signs are still in miles, hilariously. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> it's, it's, it's so stupid. So you drive down the highway, and it's, it says, the sign says 75, and you think, is that K's or miles? Just, just keep it at 100 Ks and you'll you'll be fine. <laughs> By the way, 40 degrees Celsius is 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, you Those can keep little. that. <laughs> <laughs> and beat about 90% humidity. Ooh! Yeah, it's, you... it's last last few days have been really sucky. Oh, that's right. You guys are in the middle of summer. We're, yeah. we're in the middle of winter, so yeah. Or it's close to winter as California gets. Yeah, we, we, we have dry... Okay. Let's get back onto the shows. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Weather aside, back onto the shows. Let's start off with Arrow. <laughs> Actually, no. Let's yeah. start with Flash. Let's, let's start. Let's go with the order they aired. We'll start with Flash. Zoom, oh. zoom, zoom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be perfectly honest. I didn't really care for the episode. Yeah, it was. It, it, it wasn't sort of a big. And we're back, like we sort of expected it to be. It was sort of a, like a here, have an episode of yeah, Flash, it, it goodbye. Felt like a, it felt like filler. It felt like I was watching Naruto, just filler, all the time. <laughs> oh, God. There was eight episodes of canon Naruto last year. I know. Eight. Out of 56 or something. There Seth. was eight. <laughs> the writers just don't want to keep, just don't want to end it. Yeah. Anyway, sorry, back on topic, Flash. <laughs> I lament uh, Daddy Naruto, seriously. Anyway, 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 anyway. The end of the episode was cool. Oh yeah, the end of the episode was cool. But But the rest of it, don't really care. It felt like set up. It's just, yeah. Well, yeah, because we all know what this week's episode is going to be. Oh yeah. Graveyard? No, Reverse Flash. Oh yes. So... Although I did, li- I did like the turtle powers. Those were cool. <laughs> <laughs> I, to slow everything down. Yeah. 
that that admittedly was pretty cool. And seeing it, seeing him move from their point of view, where you just sort of see it sort of stutter. Yeah, that was pretty cool. I like it how Flash just sort of powered through it though. He's like. That would have been Flash's worst um, enemy for him. Yeah, no, no, I think the Flash's worst enemy is Zoom because Zoom is faster. Yeah, but no, forcing him to slow down. Oh yeah. Oh, and the way they um, the way of how they explained Zoom's name. Good lord. That was just the way they described like the story of how he got the name of like just brutally murdering policemen. It's like, yeah. Well. We knew he was a psychopath, but this is going to a whole new level. Yeah. Yeah. So, my big question is, who was that guy at the end who was like, where am I? That, oh, was, that was Reverse Flash. That was Eba Thorne. That's what I thought, but, okay, so he's Reverse Flash, but yeah. I thought he was dead. No, no, different Reverse Flash. No, 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 no. Not Earth Two Reverse Flash. This is Earth One Flat. Uh, so this is flash. this is new Reverse Flash after Time Reset of killing thingy. Yeah. Oh. Wait, is... Time. Wait, wait, wait. Time Reset. What? A- end of season one. Um. What's right. his face? They, killed they himself. Killed, uh, yeah. Which then yeah. altered the timeline. Right. Right. Which then so resulted in no new sense. Reverse Flash. So because that... there was a, there was an article that came out last week with a um. Show's producers confirmed. No, no, it's Earth One Flash, Reverse Flash. I keep saying Flash. Yeah. So, so effectively, wait. think of it like the DeLorean. Okay. It, yeah. Um, when the dude killed uh, Eddie, was it Eddie? Yes. Yeah, Eddie. Yeah. So killed, his parents killed, are no longer married, and he disappears. Yeah. Um, he disappeared into a sort of a paradoxy thing, um, which resulted in the portals, the portals to Earth Two and stuff. That created a new timeline. On that new timeline, Reverse Flash would still exist in some form. So, effectively, instead of coming back and triggering the original events that led to Flash, he is now coming back slightly later and doing a thing instead. So, yeah. I'm still okay. Con- yeah, it's still- uh, yeah, I'm still confused because, like, They're probably gonna if his dad died now. <laughs> who got the reverse flash mantle, okay, that would make sense, but if reverse flash died, or, or, or no longer exists... Reasons. Wibbly wobbly timey wimey stuff. We'll okay, get... no, there's only one show that can get away with that. Okay? Uh, no, no, Legends of Tomorrow, but we'll, we'll get to that. You've clearly never read Flash. The, the amount of time travel of Flash is stupid. Yeah. I'm a Marvel guy. Yeah. And no one blames you for that. <laughs> Actually, I would feel sorry. Cap would you... kick all your guys' asses, so. Yeah. No. Well, the, see, the thing I hate about DC is Superman. He is literally infinitely powerful. There's almost nothing in any fantasy realm that can stand up to that. Um. Except for Batman. Batman cheats. <laughs> in a straight yeah, out, in a straight out Duke him up, Batman would be in tiny little pieces in a split second. Clark just feels sorry for Batman, which is why he doesn't kill him. Anyway, any, any, any <laughs> back back on topic. Arrow. I know. We're moving on to Arrow because I Flash like... is crap. <laughs> Felicity Arrow... Smoke. Felicity Smoke is going to assume the role of Oracle. Uh, Maybe. Yes, she has the same injury, but the produ- show producer said she's not. She's not going to go by the code name Oracle. Oh. Okay. How about she may go by the another name? Ooh, I just thought of something. She'll team up with Barry and become Wheels and the Leg Man. <laughs> if I could That's airlock, bad. You, if I could airlock you, I would. <laughs> South Park, right? <laughs> no, Family Guy. No, American Dad. I got it. American Dad. Oh, American yes. American Dad. Yes. Yeah. It was the alien and the sun. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, who are, God, yes. So, who, so who are we assuming that uh, was killed by Damien Dark? Is it going to be uh, his son or is it going to be uh, his, Detective Lance? It won't be his son. Just judging by the way that episode ended, I've got, th- I've got three possibilities. and they I'm all thinking it's... 
I mean, I'm thinking I it's Detective Lance. Possibly. I think I think the arrow had to uh, fake his own death. No. 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 You want to know who it, I think it is? I don't think it's Lance. I think it's Felicity's mum. Yeah, I was just about to say the same thing. Who else? There's only three people that that she would have that kind of reaction to: her mum, Diggle, or Thea. Yeah. Let's kill Diggle. I don't like his super suit. <laughs> Reminds his me of suit is red. It does. Just a little bit. It looks like a motorcycle helmet. It's like, great, you went out and bought a motorcycle helmet. Good for you, dude. <laughs> uh, there. Yeah, um, the only other thing I can think of is, because there's, there's still another four months, there's a chance that Felicity found out about the sun, but... It just, it doesn't seem like it. it. Yeah, it just sort of seems weird that Barry... Like, I know Barry's there because they're friends. I'm not, not dissing that. But... It made sense at the time, but after seeing that episode, it everything yeah. got thrown out the window. Yeah. And so I, I'm, I'm gonna keep it with being the sun, though. I'll keep it with the sun. I, I just want to hear Diggle scream out, "Dee Dee, where's my super suit?" <laughs> <laughs> oh. Face palm. <laughs> Woman, where is my sand suit? Uh. I left it in the washing machine. It went mouldy. Uh, Why what? do you want to know? Because I am going to go save the greatest good. I am your wife. I am the greatest good you are ever going to get. <laughs> Isn't it anyway? sad that that's the best Fantastic Four movie of all time? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, does that make him Silver Surfer then? Yes. <laughs> Oh, no, Iceman, Iceman. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, anyway. <laughs> yeah, you have the thing, you have the invisible woman, uh, and inst- you have the flash instead of uh, a human torch, and and then you have a stretchy woman. Yeah, exactly. And then you got the demon baby. Hey, the demon baby. Oh, the demon baby. <laughs> demon baby. Well, the demon baby, <laughs> did, the demon baby did catch on fire. And seriously, she tormented the crap out of the babysitter. It's like, have you watched, the, have you got the, the DVD version oh. of that has an extended version of what that kid did to the babysitter? Oh, it's so, it's it's babysitter. so good. So, so good. I, mean, I can't actually wait for Incredibles 2 to come out. It's going to be hilarious. How soon until that comes out? I think it's either this year or next year. It can't be that far off. But no. Any, anyway, let's try and get slightly back on a little bit of close to the topic of Arrow. I can Arrow. Yeah. Stuart, do the news thing while we continue to talk about Arrow. <laughs> so, so. <sighs> nah, screw Arrow. Let's move on to Legends of Tomorrow. <laughs> okay, so my, my whole thing with this whole, all, with the entire, like, DC TV universe, A, it's really disappointing that it's not tied in with the film universe. Yeah, I and, yeah, agree with that 10,000%. Yeah, it just kind of cheapens the whole thing and it's like, okay... I don't know. Uh, it it, 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 it kind of just highlights the fact that none of it's real. And then um, on, on top of that, there's just this sense of like 90s cheese to all of the, <laughs> all of, the uh, of the CW series with, with there. And it's like a sense of like after school special. And I don't know, maybe I've just been spoiled by all the dark series over the past decade. But I feel like like they could they could still have as much fun and, and while raising the dramatic tension, whereas w- the way it is, it's just like really hard for me to care about anything because any of the characters because it's just like oh oh no, Flash has been disabled. Well, okay, next episode he's fine. Great. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Since, oh, since, oh look, Flash has been made slow. Oh look, he's not slow. Oh look, he's been made slow. Oh look, he's not slow. Oh look, he's been made slow. <laughs> It's almost like they're rushing through the plot. Yeah. So I think that's more of a side effect of like when we look at show longer running shows like Stargate and stuff like that. A lot of them had green light for two or three, or sometimes even four seasons early on. So they mm-hmm. knew they could get away with a longer story from the beginning. Um, whereas Arrow and Flash are a season by season sort of series, and it feels it. Well, and part of it is just the way they do TV now versus the way they do TV did TV back in the '90s. But still, I mean, you look at, at shows like Stargate Universe, which I absolutely adored, 
um, and, and how it took its time with the story. Or um, if you look at Battlestar Galactica, again, it took its time with the story. Now, uh, uh, or Firefly, even Firefly took its time with the story. And Firefly is a great example of something that still had that great, those great Moments. dramatic beats and, and dramatic arcs and didn't rush through it, but weren't slit your wrist Battlestar Galactica. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody, but, uh, somebody loves his Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> How much no, I just never heard that term before. <laughs> I think it's my own little invention. I don't know, but it's just it's so depressing. I love Battlestar Galactica to death. You, I mean, you have no idea how much oh, yeah, I love it. Oh, yeah, it's awesome. I was just but it makes me want to slip my wrist, okay? <laughs> it's so fucking depressing. Sorry, it just brought me back to a moment last night when I was talking in lightsabers with my friends. I was like, and I wanted, to, wanted to slit your wrist, I know. <laughs> I was like, I want to give me a baby kill. And they were like, wait, what? It's like, oh, it's, it's, it's the name for Anakin's lightsaber. It's like, when did that get jumped out? It's like, a while ago. Yeah. Which, by the way, is also Luke's lightsaber. Yes. Uh, and Ray's lightsaber. Yep, the baby killer. Yeah. Um, I love that name. <laughs> But yeah, so the, the reason I was going off on all, all that is because I get the same feeling out of DC Legends of Tomorrow. Now, I love how, how it's kind of a, a pseudo-Doctor Who ripoff. You even have Rory. Oh, okay. You've got Rory, who is a time master. Right, instead who, of time lord. Who steals a ship, but the ship actually goes where he wants it to go as opposed to not going. But that's because of an AI, not because of his actual ability to fly it. He well, you have AI random, instead of sexy. He, he kills up. He, he kidnaps random people from wherever the hell they were. Zaps and them, throws them and in the ship, and then steals them away to other time periods. And yes. has a laser pistol that kind of looks like a sonic screwdriver. Yeah, and that actually kind of looks like a six gun. Yeah, it does. That too. <laughs> but. But it, yeah, it, 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 it's kind of like a pseudo Doctor Who ripoff, which is a lot of fun, which is awesome. But yeah, and, and, and then you throw in the whole fact that I just I, I, I have a hard time caring about any of the characters because they move so fast through the story, and and yeah. and they're they're never in any real danger. Yeah, yeah. That said, I do like the Adam suit. Look. Oh yeah, it's kind of like Iron Man meets Ant Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fun. Yeah, it even makes. Did you notice it even makes the Iron Man sounds? <laughs> yeah, when, when it charged up the weapons, it made the repulsor sound. I was like, "Oh, oh I didn't... somebody is getting sued for that." <laughs> I don't know if you can copyright a sound. You can copyright music. Uh, you can some copyright of sound effects. Can. Sound effects you can. Some some sound effects you can. I have a I have a uh, 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 someone who went to school to learn this kind of stuff uh, here with me, and he's going, eh, kind of, sorta, not nah, maybe. Yeah. I think it depends on the sound effect. Yeah, and yeah. and how it's used. Like uh, maybe if it's like uber iconic. Yeah, like like, sound the, like the warp sound would be say the Iron Man repulsor would be say maybe, the yeah. um, yeah. the Stargate sort of activating would be those would all be copyrighted sound effects. Yeah, what would be um, the blaster sound effect? Yeah, lightsabers. Lightsabers. Speaking of lightsabers, that big storm. We had a big storm blow through here. Nothing compared to what you guys got in the states. Not even close. But for us, I it was, was a, a big storm. I was, I was away for all that. I was actually away for the week for the weekend. So. Well, it was really funny. I'm sitting at home, it's dead, jet black. Just I can hear the rain just starting. I'm like, oh yeah, it's cool. I know there's a storm blowing in. I'm playing one of my online games. Like I'll just get back to base and log out and turn everything off. Flash, bang! Whole house shakes. Yeah, I'll be fine okay. to log out. Here. I'll be I'll be fine to log out here. <laughs> <laughs> Said okay now. T now I, I just set my T Rexes to neutral, so anything attacks me, they'll kill it in seconds. And I'll log out here and I'll come back in a couple of hours. Logged out. Switched switched everything off because I was playing Ark Survival. Unplugged everything. Flash. Bang! All the lights go out. Yep, there goes the power. Power comes back on. Flash. Bang! Power's gone again. Well, this could this could take a while. <laughs> Walk over, pick up the lightsaber, turn it on. This is your lightsaber. As soon as <laughs> I turned it on, my birds went, What the bloody hell is that? <laughs> Panicking, flying around the cage. So I walk over there and go, It's just a lightsaber, you stupid little kids. Yeah, animal sense you know like lightsabers no, for some weird reason. They, they calmed down as soon as they saw me poke my face up against it, but until then they had, they were just spazzing the crap out. It's pretty funny. Yeah, they probably thought it was fire. Yeah. Storm they were fine with. Lightsaber they, they didn't like it. 
<laughs> Come on, I found a whip snake. I think it was a whip snake last night trying to go into my aviary. Yeah, no. That sounds dirty. Giggity. No, it's one of our snakes we have here. Yeah. My dad thought it was a brown snake. No, that. There are, yeah, they, it's just... they, they love birds, but they're not necessarily that dangerous. Not compared to brown snakes, anyway. Well, I don't know if it's a witch snake or a brown snake. All I did was poke it with a broom to make it move along. My dad was going to cut its head off with a shovel. That's a good way to get bitten. Uh, that, because... That's what guns are for. Yeah, you're forgetting this is Australia. We don't have guns because um... we, don't want, we don't want crazy people to have guns. I'll bring my own. Actually, all the studies have shown that gun control... Uh, doesn't do a lot. Doesn't do much to to decrease violence. Neither neither does everyone having a gun. Like neither st- make a statistical impact. Yeah. Anyway, not the point. Moving right along. When, whenever Michael joins us, we've got to be saying, and that's that's how good the X Files special was. I'll just say that as he jumps into the because <laughs> he wants to talk about it and I want to sort of just, just jump on it and just pretend we've already finished and then he joins and we're just like oh no we've already talked about that and just move on to something else it's like I just throw away to the news and just have him go just have him freak out well that's uh, that's what I'm going to have to get going because um, spo- I, I, I didn't get to see it so spoilers yeah. um, well spoilers did you guys see Agent Carter by any chance which came back yes. to a fairly sort of average season 2 beginner with yeah. fairly average ratings. Yeah, I, I hope they keep it up because I like the series and and I love the era, um, and and a lot of the characters are fun. But um, yeah, it, Agent Carter and Agents of Shield, neither of them really get me excited like yeah. like other shows. Yeah, I, they've both reached that point. Like I've said for a while that the superhero bubble will burst. It's just a case of waiting for when it's going to happen. And I could feel it with Arrow and Flash, Legends of Tomorrow, Agent Carter, and even Gotham. They all feel like they're sort of... I don't... When they air, I'm not like, woohoo, I get to watch it. It's sort of like, oh, look, another episode of Arrow and Flash I can watch. It's not... I'm sort of losing yeah. that excitement behind they, it. Otherwise, they need fresh uh, blood. <laughs> yeah. Well, see, stuff like... Um, what's it called? Well, I've forgotten. Daredevil and... The Netflix, yeah. the Netflix series, they oh, got me really yeah. excited. I, I, I powered through all of them as quickly as I could. Oh, and, so next, next Daredevil season's going to have Punisher. Yes, yeah, it's going to be great. I think they just need fresh blood into the and, uh, writing the shows. Yeah, because they've all become very sort of methodical and sort of there's no real risk, relatively speaking. Um, like even it's like Supernatural Supernatural up until about the end of season 5 which was what they'd originally planned to finish it was one of those shows which I couldn't get enough of and then after season 5 where it became a seasonal show where every season is sort of separate to each other it sort of lost that sort of feeling to it well some of it for me I mean I I, I still I still uh, I still watch uh, it freak out every time I hear carry on my wayward son oh yeah I still I'll still watch it, but I'm more excited about Supernatural than I am about the Agents of Shield and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, at the same time, it's still not something I'll go out of my way to watch. Oh yeah, they they need to have another uh, another um, big arc. So, do I think what they're trying to do this season? But who knows? Yeah, I, I'm I'm just waiting for for uh, God to get involved. Yeah. In other I like, words, I like it. The, the angels and smiting sickness. Like, when you saw the darkness take that angel smite, which was almost all of the juice of heaven combined, yeah. and just sort of sort of casually walked away afterwards, it was like, oh. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Actually, it was funny. There was a little supernatural thing I saw recently. <laughs> and it's, um, it's, um, 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 Cass, and he's like, if... Uh, I can't remember. It's like he's he's watching something he shouldn't be watching. Oh, <laughs> if, if that that's from season, I want to say season five, and it's like he's it, he's no longer an angel at this point. He's sort of being kicked out of heaven. Season six. Season six, and he's like, um, if the pizza boy really loves this person, why doesn't he blah blah blah? And the the other the brothers are like, Cass, are you watching porn? <laughs> <laughs> 
just oh. well, he's like, I might as well like learn what all this shit is now that I'm. <laughs> yeah, he's not going to get in trouble for it. So yeah, that was pretty funny. Hmm? I don't even remember that when it... uh, my friend here is like, I- I- I'm just going to introduce him. Say say hi, Ray. Hi. Or hi, Z. He goes by Z now. Hi. Hi. Hello. The episode when he gets laid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's pretty, he's pretty cut about supernatural right now. That's isn't that? Didn't he hook up with one of the demons? Uh, I think it was an angel. Yeah, I can't remember. Oh well, yeah, 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 yeah. It was. She was being all sympathetic. She 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 fucked him and then and then she turned on him. Yeah. Did she? I can't remember. Yep. There's, there's so much random silliness in that show now. Like, but. Just like with Stargate, Supernatural's got that sort of the humor mixed in with it, which sort of keeps it keeps it yeah. entertaining. Which is something that Arrow, Flash, and all those don't really have. Yeah. Not as much, anyway. They, I think they went sort of too far down the dark and gritty, and they've forgotten that you do still well, need that humor in there. No, I think because they do have the humor. I, I don't think it's it's that the. Uh... Um, I don't think it's that they've gone too dark and gritty. I think it's that they haven't got they they haven't committed to. Honestly, it's just the the no, the danger isn't real. It's too comic book. Yeah. You know the the danger isn't real. We know when Flash loses his powers, he's going to get it back. I will guarantee you, Felicity's going to get her legs back at some point. Okay. Yeah. Um, you know, everybody, almost everybody important who has died in has any of these shows back. has come back. So I really just don't see, like, I, it's just like, okay, you know, it, it, it's a fun to see how things evolve. And then when they do try to get dramatic, it's after school special melodrama. Yeah. Okay. Which there's only one show I will take that from and that's Supernatural. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> And then coming back to Supernatural, we can relate to my life where I found a liquor store and I drank it. <laughs> oh, Cass. Cass, 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 Cass Okay. Cass, Cass, Cass. <laughs> Next part. Yeah. All right. Um, well, that's... Why don't we talk about Suicide Squad trailer? Oh, Suicide Squad trailer, yes. I knew I was forgetting something. I was trying to go to Wars. I knew you'd forget. Your head? Suicide Squad trailer. Man, I liked it better on the second watch. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, the editing was... Whoever did the editing really did a good job with it. Yeah. Put it this way. The Suicide Squad trailer may be more excited about that movie than the Batman vs. Superman stuff. Any of it. Yeah, because it's, it's going to be that. a lot more fun. Exactly. It, well, Batman Superman... And it's actually got colour. Can... They're not afraid to have <laughs> colour. Careful, Zach's not going to cut some color in there. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's not what the voices said. <laughs> <laughs> that was... Wow, didn't that set the internet on fire? It's like, that's yeah. not what Harley Quinn is like. It's like well, I know. A lot of people don't like that she hasn't got the high-pitched, like the, oh, don't be so jay. Like, she hasn't got the high-pitched voice. Like, yeah. eh, Woody! Doesn't <laughs> actually change. Really? really? That's what they're bitching about? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and that Marco Robbie doesn't do a good Harley. Yeah. I like it. It, it. it was crazy, but it was grounded. Yeah. 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 I like it as she just, just casually walking down the street, smashes a window out of the shop, grabs a bag, and she's like, what? We're not good guys. <laughs> yeah, and, and that's, and but that's like what crazy people do. They're just like, la 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 la, and then they like act out in some weird way. <laughs> exactly. They don't make a big show, normally don't make a big show about being crazy, unless you were my grandmother. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, now the question is which grandmother I'm referring to they oh, also forget that, that how, how bright Harley was before um, oh yeah because she was a doctor she was a psychiatrist before he, he destroyed her mind yeah and then she became like super obsessed with him and is now the equivalent of his as close as he'll ever have to a, to a wife even though he Ooh. disagrees with that opinion oh yeah <laughs> He, he hates that concept altogether, but she'll, he'll never get rid of her. His own fault. Yeah. Well, well I guess I guess her. I guess Harley is to him like he is to Batman. No matter what happens, no, because... Batman can't get rid of Joker. 
Yeah, but it's not a uh, uh, adversarial relationship. Oh yeah, I know it's not an adversarial relationship, but there's also a lot of love between Joker towards Batman, and not so much the other way. <laughs> so you could say that about Harley and Joker, to a point. But yeah, anyway. But Joker just wants to make Batman laugh. Exactly. Why so serious? <laughs> I think one of the cool, uh, probably my favorite um, scene out of all of it, out of the trailer, is uh, Chad Lowe's Joker lying on the floor surrounded by all those knives. <laughs> I was like, that's really cool. I don't know why. I was like, that's a really cool shot. Yeah. Yeah, that was I think it, it, I think it, it, Well, it, it reminds me of, of, um, of Heath Ledger's Joker, how it was like, guns, they kill things too quickly. I like to save everything. I like to save everything. And that's what like, and that's why I got the image and that's why I thought of like when he had all the knives on it's like jeez, he really likes to save for his kills. Yeah. Speaking of trailers, who here has seen the Deadpool Australia Day one? <laughs> I have. Have you seen the other uh, recent one? Recent one? Oh There's, yeah, I did see that. They yeah. are the <laughs> popping the question. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> where you where are you hiding that? Nowhere. Hmm. Oh, Deadpool, 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 Deadpool. I think Deadpool is a super the, uh... movie we've been waiting for because there's been so many super serious superhero movies. There hasn't really been a sort of a superhero comedy. And well, Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, I, I, I guess. But Deadpool sort of takes that to the nth extreme. And that's what True. I think is going to make it great. Without being a straight comedy kick-ass, like kick-ass. Yeah, exactly. But, uh, Actually, oh, you know... Uh... You know what's really? Seen... Mm-hmm. You... Oh, you go, you go. Oh, have you guys seen the uh, Deadpool, the comic of Deadpool playing uh, uh, Red Light, Green Light with uh, Weeping uh, Angel? Weeping Angel, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's like you're really good at this. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot the damn thing already! <laughs> it's um, it's That's... funny. I didn't uh, realize this at the time, but I've been uh, realizing all um, the old Dragon Ball Z episodes that uh, Gohan breaks the fourth wall. He does. Yeah, it's like he's so subtle, but he um, it's when he's um after it's when um Goku's coming back for the martial arts tournament. Yeah. And he goes and tells everyone he's uh, and he he literally they pause it, turns to, straight to the camera, is like, this is Krillin. He grew hair because he doesn't fight anymore. <laughs> Like, he full-on, like, turns and breaks. I'm like, why did I not notice that? <laughs> well, uh, Rainbow Sun Franks has been watching Dragon Ball. I've been trying to get him to watch Dragon Ball Z, but, uh, abridged? No. <laughs> um, but yeah, he doesn't want to because he regularly... God, I would love for those guys to come out. I would love to film Rainbow watching Dragon Ball Z abridged just to see his reactions. Putting that online would be hilarious. So, anyway. Moving, moving along. Moving along. What other? There was another trailer that dropped. What was it? I can't remember. Uh. uh I'm just trying to think. I've been away for a weekend, so I'm trying to catch up on everything. Yeah. I'm just waiting for them to release a good Star Trek Beyond trailer. <laughs> you know that's not gonna happen. You know that's not gonna happen. Ah, the thirty uh, third day of the thirteenth month. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 no. The, 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 the next... Um, I have a feeling that the next trailer, because it was so poorly received, they're going to do better with it. And, and I honestly do think that this movie is going to be a lot better than the last one. Yeah, he's hoping. Now, I may eat those that's words. That's it, it's not very hard. <laughs> well, okay, I, I think they're finally going to start injecting the intel start. I don't think it's going to quite get to the same degree as like as, as some of the previous tracks, but they're going to start injecting the philosophical debate yeah. into Star Trek again. Um, and I don't think it's going to be quite a morality tale, but more of a debate. And I think that's kind of where Trek is going to end up going, where it's debate more of these... missiles. Yeah. <laughs> well, because the, oh, all the stuff I'm talking about... Aggressive negotiations. <laughs> Fifth element, I love you. Yeah. Um, but oh no, like like if you look, watch, read all the stuff that the director's putting out there. He's talking about how, um, like he how how it's supposed to be this debate about um the Federation values and 
and like everyone coming together and living together in peace and harmony and all that versus these other points of view and how they can come into conflict. Yeah. Yeah, that, I'm, I'm definitely curious about how that's going to go. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyway, let's move on to, because I'm still trying to buy time for Michael, um, let's move on to Eugene, Eugene doing the model report. All right. This week's uh, model report, I decided to go old school again, and I decided to take a look at the Forbidden Planet kits that are available. <laughs> and And there's some nice kits out there. Uh, unfortunately, most of them are getting discontinued again. So, oh, check with your yeah. local check with your local hobby stores because they're not going to be around for much longer. There's a nice uh, one twelfth scale Robbie the robot that's been reissued, and he, he includes um, Altair that he holds in his arms. Um, suggested retail for that is forty two ninety five. Um, Polar lights. Uh, did two versions of the C57D in two different scales. In the one one forty fourth scale, which is available right now, there is a lighted and a non-lighted version of the kit. The non-lighted is just the regular version of the kit. That is out of production, but some hobby shops still have that in stock. The deluxe version includes the lights. Nice. But uh, so it's probably would, expensive as. Uh, actually, the the lighted version it has a suggested retail of just under seventy dollars US. That's about a hundred ish Australian. Not bad. Uh, then the, the other version of the kit that's out is. Well, th has that's been discontinued? Is the one seventy second scale version of the C fifty seven D, and there's two versions of it, and you can tell which version it is by the box art. Um, the original releases just show the ship. Uh, mostly, it shows it landed on a planet, uh, but this is a big kit. I mean, you're talking. It's like a 28-inch or larger diameter when assembled. Um, it's 172nd scale. It's it's a nice size kit. You know, 172nd scale puts it in scale with a lot of aircraft model kits and even some of the Star Wars kits that are in 172nd scale. Uh, but there was a del there was a a revamped version of the kit that was put out a few years ago that's now out of production that included the crew, Robbie the Robot, and a... They called it the ID4 monster, but it was like the front half of the monster, transparent. It wasn't a real good representation of the monster, which is a shame because it had so much potential. That's... that's the biggest complaint I had about it was the monster wasn't as nice as it could have been. Uh, there was an aftermarket uh, resin version of the monster, and there were two ver versions of it, and those r run for about $45 or more each. Unfortunately, they're also out of production, being that the, the large version of, the, of this kit is out, is, um, out of production. But um, if anybody wants a nice version of the C57D, I definitely would recommend the, the 172nd scale. That is a nice version of the kit. But if you don't have that kind of room, the 1144th scale is a nice kit. Nice. Nice. And there are some single versions of Robbie the Robot out there. Uh, those are out of production also. Um, and that's most of what I've been able to find on Forbidden Planet. A lot, and this is brought to you by Perry County Hobbies. Nice. Stuart, you want to do the news? Yep. While we wait for Michael to turn up? Yep. 
So, there's actually quite a lot of news. Because we did and a start... no news last week. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, this is interesting. This popped up uh, about an hour, um, just before we started um, uh, the podcast, actually. Uh, EA, teasing something for uh, Star Wars Battlefront tomorrow. Ooh, interesting. Yeah, uh, on their Twitter it says, prepare for cold front coming through Star Wars Battlefront tomorrow. And the picture is Han, Han and Luke on Hoth with a tauntaun. Sorry, what was that? Starship Battlefront? No, Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, it's an in-joke with David. Go, 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 go. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> the only person that doesn't understand the in-joke is unfortunately Eugene, because I feel you haven't sort of explained that to him. But yeah, that's yeah just, I, uh, I know what's going on. That's I'm, why I laughed. I'm, I'm sorry. I, the only game I play is Angry Birds Transformers. Forgive me. I, I thought oh, you were oh, going to say. I thought you were going to say Pong. I'd rather play Pop Pong than Angry Birds Transformers. Yeah, fair point. But yeah, please make it so they can ride Tauntauns. That's all I care about. Just run around Tauntauns and Hoth going, Wee! Okay, I'm just, it's just because I have to say it. Giggity. Giggity goo. Wee! Giggity giggity goo. All right. Yeah. Alright. Because um... all Stuart wants to do is ride a Tauntaun, which is just not, not <laughs> sus at all. It's just not. At all. Well, they, at least they're in small bad on the inside, on the outside. Oh god! Just, just move on. Just. <laughs> I can do. Going. I could I could drop Star Wars puns all day. All right. Uh, so this is interesting. Um, so uh, Heroes and Villains Fan Fest uh, kinda happened in New Jersey. Is that the half? Half the half the convent, half the, half of it got snowed out. Yeah, and was that the one where um, Barrowman and Barrowman was running around with a video camera, just filming how empty it was, and then making <laughs> snow angels with the cast? Yeah, and, uh, were... and I think there's they posted a video of of the two of them singing. Would you like to build a snowman? Yes. Yeah, yeah I was going yeah. to bring that up. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite videos of all of them is the one that they're sitting in the, like a fake Lazarus pit. There's no water, and it's um. There's there's a uh, Stephen, there's John, there's Robbie and Mel, and um the, I can't I don't know her real name, but um Nissa. Yeah. And they're all talking about different things, and uh, Bar- uh Nissa accidentally farts, like like properly farts, and, and John's like, "Did you just fart?" <laughs> and Nissa and like she's so embarrassed, she's, she's and John's like, "Well, if we're gonna fart, at least fart on my face." And Robbie's just like, ah, ah. <laughs> like he gags. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone just loses, and I'm like, "Oh, Barrowman doesn't ever change. <laughs> he's, a, he's a little kid in, in an adult's body." Fair. But yeah, back to the main news. Uh, uh spoilers, uh, for Flash. Uh, Robbie Mel uh accidentally uh wasn't meant to say this, but uh, conf- uh confirmed that he's going to kill a series regular when they go travel to Earth two in episode thirteen. <laughs> Oops, not meant to say that. <laughs> So a series regular from our world or a series regular at the Not their sure. World? Just says a se- it just says a series regular. Yeah. I'll be back. Uh, uh, my thinking is is possibly um worlds. Yeah. Because they're going to because they the sign up for that episode is that they go to Earth two to find his daughter. So. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, this is cool. Uh, our, um, some Arrow news. Um, uh, Stephen Amell teases a, uh, sh- big, uh, rematch with Malcolm Merlin. Nice. So, yeah, uh, something's gonna happen later on where they go, where, where um, well, where that, they go at it again. That leads me towards potentially being Thea in the hole then. Because Malcolm wants nothing to do with with Dark. And those guys. Mm. So, if they're going at it again, then... Maybe Thea's the one in the hole. Yeah, um... um Steven had an interview with uh, comicbook.com and, um... And he said, uh, there's an, uh, there's an episode coming up where you... Where, um, where you... Where, um, he, he... And I quote from him, he's, uh, the words are, Merlin, come on! Really?! And then he says it's the rematch of one, two, three, which references their fight on uh, season one, episode twenty-three. Nice. Uh, what else is there? Uh, there's a whole 
bunch of uh oh Star Wars is near two billion dollars. Is that all? Yeah, that's all. Who is plipping? I don't know. Whoever's going plip, can you send your Skype to do not disturb so we yeah. You'll still get your plips, but we won't hear them. <laughs> Assuming it's you, EJ. I got so, up and moved. So, so yeah, anyway, so that's X Files. Uh, what? So oh. we're gonna move on, and we gotta do the news now. What? So, Damn, I swear oh, I got Michael's here. <laughs> Whoops! Guess who missed out? Are you serious? X Files was fantastic. <laughs> I know it was. <laughs> Well, you missed it. We already covered it. We're just about to move on to the news. And then, and then the news, Star Wars, Star Wars has covered $2 billion. Yeah, Star Wars has covered $2 billion. No, Mike, we're just messing with you. I actually put it off until after the news just for you. Yeah, so. that's what I figured. So, just... I know you well enough. <laughs> well, and since Michael's here, I'm going to go ahead and get going because I hate that guy. Yep, don't blame me. Wow, <laughs> wow, wow. Catch you later. <laughs> EJ, after our years of friendship and working together and you really still hate me? Are you kidding me? I was just using you. Yeah, same for me. <laughs> 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 no, no, I just, I didn't get to see X-Files, so I don't want the spoilers, but... Yeah, you guys I have... uh, I'll, I'll catch you later, EJ. Bye, right, EJ. Catch you later. Bye. 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 Nice to, to talk to you for two seconds, Michael. <laughs> I talked to you, too. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. All right. So, so I'm back. Cool. So yeah. Anyway, back to the news. Yeah, this is cool. Um, Star Wars, uh, as in the proper Star Wars guy, Star Wars dot com, have released the um, have released a, a behind the uh, a thing showing all the Rebels voice actors who had roles in the Force Awakens. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. Notable things is in this is that we finally know who said traitor. Who? David Accord. Wait, who did he play? Uh, I uh, yeah, I know this. I should know this. Yeah, you're <laughs> our Star Wars guy. The only reason you're here is because you Star Wars. That's it. <laughs> but yeah, um, but yeah, he's he's the one who goes traitor, is in the stormtrooper outfit. So that's we finally know who it is at last. Wait, so but he he's from Rebels. Yes. I'm gonna quickly. I need to know who that character is. Going to quickly look up what he does. Oh, sorry. Totally hopeless. So, Eugene, while we wait, how are you enjoying the snow? I think you just disappeared. Sorry, I had, had sorry, I had to mute my my mic. Uh, I turned my printer on and it made all kinds of noise. <laughs> uh, oh, he's just he's just a protocol droid of rebels. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> no one's special. Oh darn. Damn, so I was, it's really I was, a droid. I was so it's it was really a droid. <laughs> oh, that would have been quite a twist. No, um, Sam Witwer has a whole bunch of stuff in him. Um, he actually voices the Emperor in um, Rebels. Oh, okay. So he's huh. done. He he's got, like you go through a list, and he's like in probably like every single main scene in the like in every single scene in the movie. There's a stormtrooper. He voices one of them somewhere. <laughs> Fair enough. So yeah, none of like none of the main main guys like Kano or Ezra or anyone did anything but alright but yeah everyone, we finally have an accredited thing for Traitor nice <laughs> well cause everyone had been, I, been wanting for ages who it was who did it so he's rocketed the fandom uh, to stardom now oh yeah from protocol droid to Traitor Traitor <laughs> Anyway, what Watch other him news have you got? Oh, uh, super Snoke. <laughs> uh, Did you see the Porkins' is Snoke picture? Yes. Oh. <laughs> there's there's another one that apparently Grand Moff Tarkin is is Snoke. Yeah, I've seen that one too. Uh, yeah, so have I. God, sometimes, sometimes I'm really ashamed to be part of the Star Wars fan just because of the stupid shit we think of. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, I've seen Darth Vader is Snoke. It wouldn't surprise you if it was like Anakin, if like an evil spirit of Anakin was was took over the body or something. It's yeah. not it's not unheard of in the lore. Yeah. Okay. The anyway. thing is, the thing is, wait, hold on. The thing is that Andy Serkis has repeatedly said that Snoke is thousands of years old. Yeah. Which basically blows every other theory out. Yeah. Except for maybe Plagueis. So, 
Anyway. Well, the, there's one theory, there's one other theory that could be plausible, but it would make all the video games canon. What? Uh, in the Old Republic, they talk about the Emperor, or mainly the Emperor's spirit, how it transfers from body to body. Yeah. So oh. that, that could be a thing, as well. Okay. Yeah. So, like, it could have, tra- like, the actual spirit could have, like, when Palpatine died, could have transferred into Snoke, and that's how he has all this knowledge and stuff from those thousands and thousands of years. Yeah. Again, that would have to make all the games canon, and there would be a lot of shh... Shit still to follow, yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, moving on with the news. Yeah, uh, Supernova dropped some guests this week. Oh, yeah. Anyone want to talk, uh, Torchwood fetish? <laughs> yes. So we have, I'd say, about three quarters of the Torchwood cast coming down on oh, the yeah. All we need is John Barrowman. Although he's busy, he's busy filming. Just ask out. Eve. Just ask Eve Miles to call him on the phone. She did it for us at Shore Leave. <laughs> <laughs> what a surprise! They say. So yeah, uh, my actually, friend, my friend got up and asked her, you know, in the middle of her talk, to call John Barrowman. <laughs> so yeah, um, coming down is uh, Eve Miles, uh, Gareth David Lloyd, and uh, Naoko Mori. Nice. And that's so, just from Torchwood. From Doctor Who, we have a mistress coming down. Oh yeah. So I've, My I've, sister's gone. No, don't want to. I need at least four. Um, si- I've got at least four new signatures on my TARDIS, so that makes me happy. <laughs> I told Jody <laughs> she was just like, "We're gonna have no money." I'm like, "Yeah." When's that new? <laughs> Good thing we're planning the wedding for next year. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, all depending on who turns up later this year, the year after. Well, depending on who turns up next year, the year after that. <laughs> No, they should kill me by then. Like ten hey, years down. The road. As long as you don't get married <laughs> at Supernova. God, God, no. <laughs> she, no, no, no. She wanted to wait, kill wait, you wait, after wait. you proposed at fucking Oz Comic Con, so. Yeah. <laughs> we just get like get Eve Miles to be a, a maid of honor and. Uh... No. <laughs> John Barrowman uh, to officiate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hey, he oh. is a captain. He is a so captain. I'm glad she doesn't listen to these anymore. <laughs> wait, she listened to these. She used to, <laughs> like in the, when I first started, yeah. <laughs> That's right, we used to give a shit. <laughs> yeah. Now we do it to Michael. Yep. <laughs> <sighs> and um, Oz Comic Con are announcing their first uh, guest tomorrow because they actually completely revamped their website. So. Yeah, so we'll be covering that next week. Yep. There was a leak. I'm not going to say who it was because I did see it. Just say respect. it. Jim Beaver. Who? Uh, Jim Beaver. <laughs> oh, yeah, about... he was uh, Supernatural um, Bobby. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, that took me a second. That is probably just a remnant of last year from Brisbane Supernova. No, 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 someone actually uh, hacked the website and actually had him under the uh, the Melbourne and Perth guests. Wow. Lol, 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 lol. <laughs> Why would you hack... The Oz Comic Con website people, just to find out a day thing early. Because people want to know guests that they can start planning. People are crazy when it comes to those things. Uh, I'll give you people are crazy. <laughs> that is yeah, definitely well. true. Anyway, so how much more have news you guys you got? covered? Sorry, go ahead. Go on. No, no. What were you going to say? You guys covered the change in Doctor Who. Yes, <gasps> that was coming up. Yes. Oh. Sorry. No, we haven't done that yet. Continue. So yeah, uh, this was a uh, surprising news to wake up to. Yeah, it's a good, good. It's a good news, bad news scenario. The bad so exactly. news is no Doctor Who until 2017. Wait, wait, wait. We have the Christmas special this Still year. Look at the Christmas. That doesn't count. <laughs> it does too. When it's literally 12 months after the previous episode, and it is closer to the following season than it was the previous season, it don't count. I'm loving that you're complaining of this, and Five Five fans are like, "When are we getting season two? <laughs> well, no, you see the see, thing he's talking th- about that moment you when see... you realize we are getting season four of Sherlock, well, Sherlock first. before <laughs> season ten of Doctor Who. And I've seen a picture of David. It's, it's quoted with that. There's a picture of David Tennant underneath. It's Doctor. It's just sort of. It's like before we get before, like, we get season four of Sherlock before we get ten um, <laughs> Doctor Who number ten. It's I like, just see a picture of David Tennant just looking really sad. <laughs> it's like, wow. Yeah. Oh, and um, 
I looked up uh, when Incredibles 2 was coming. Yep. 2019. We're still three years away. Oh, God. What? Jeez. Oh, That's depressing. Yeah. And wait, and, oh, have you guys covered the Avatar news and the Star Wars news as far as the scheduling? Uh, yes, with Avatar being bumped back and Star Wars being bumped back. Yep. I mean, it makes more sense to me Star Wars wise because, like, one every year at the same time of year every year makes more sense than, you know, December, December, June, or July, and then December again. It just makes it's well, kind it's, of. They also had to. Um, rumors of why that is is they had to rewrite the script. Yes, I heard that too. Yeah, I, I heard it was because Luke got absolutely. Got quite severely injured on the island again. Ooh. But, yeah, that happened. Ironic if it happened twice. <laughs> it's like, you're finally healed. Let's go back to that island and, and film again. Blah! God damn it. He really isn't as much of a master as he thought he was. Son of a bitch. <laughs> well, he has been in exile for 30 years. It's not like he's been practicing. Exactly. That makes it sound like a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, he's been, the doctor's been in exile for 30 years. It's not like he's been practicing medicine. It's like, um... It's like, sure why is he doing, doing this operation again? <laughs> Leg bones connected to the... Something. The something's connected to that <laughs> red something. thing. The red thing's connected to my <laughs> wristwatch. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, uh-oh. Psst. Ah. Yeah. And the lights say we're disconnected them all. <laughs> oh, brother. Okay. So we're doing... Yeah. yeah. Finish with the news? Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, that's it for this week's podcast. And then we've got an after show. And then we've got an after show. X Files. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I saw a funny picture for X Files. Yeah? Um, it was everyone's watching Super Bowl. I'm watching X Files. Yeah, everyone's watching the football. I'm so Ma- mad. Michael shared schedule. that like seven times. I know, I was so pissed. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I think my friend was all excited on the couch with my pretzels in my hand, my drink. I was just like, yes, 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 yes. And then it's like, the after show comes on for the game. I'm just so mad. I, <laughs> no, like, I don't was... put crap. And my dad's like, some people do. I'm like, no, I don't. <laughs> now, my favorite one is, uh, what's this case about Mulder? And it's like, aliens. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. so anyway, we'll get to that in a couple of minutes in the after show. But until then, do we have any other news? Oh yeah, I've got some interesting news. So there's a a poster that popped out last week of a uh, Jaden Smith as Static Shock. Yeah, that has actually been confirmed as tr- happening. Uh. Uh. Why? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Your guess is as good as mine. Uh, all I'm gonna say is as soon as Will ruin- Smith became a father. He went off the fucking deep end. He went almost Nick Cage crazy. Mm-hmm. Almost, not quite. Just, he's up there now. It's like if he does a movie, his son has to be involved somehow. His son probably doesn't even care about movies. Probably he doesn't act. Like- he doesn't act. Period. <laughs> it's like, it's like I've, I've seen more emotional range in a plank of wood. You mean plank from Ed and Eddie? Exactly. That thing's got heaps of emotional range. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what her name is, that the one that everyone gives shit for not being able to act for very well. Can't think of what it is. I was gonna say that she's better than him, but You mean the Twilight chick? Yeah, the the chick that's like, oh, it's, like, uh, it's, like it's like happy, sad, uh, angry. Just, and it's just, sad I know this, yeah. but Kristen Stewart. Yeah. I only know this because I blame Jody. Jody, thank you. You actually made Stuart learn something that was temporarily useful. <laughs> anyway, ramblings aside, that's it for this week's podcast. We'll catch you guys in the after show if you want to tune in and listen in to us ramble about X Files, or we will catch you next week when we do top five sci fi something. I haven't actually decided what that top five list is going to be, but. Um, actually, you know what, Stuart? Top five sci fi something, go. You get to choose this time. I'm not going to be here next week, so. Don't think that's even better. We'll work it out later. Top five weird sci-fi aliens. Top five sci-fi aliens it is. Weird aliens. Weird aliens. Weird aliens, okay. Top five sci-fi weird aliens. I dibs Pizza the Hut is number one. (laughs) (laughs) Anyway, catch you guys later. Bye. Bye.
good one. 